Hey, hey, everyone. Uh, it's Kimberly Joy Morgan and Serena Williams, and we are here with another Travel Tuesday. And we're going to do a four part series um, on this amazing experience that my sister and friend Serena Williams has um, come up with. God has given her. And it's uh, called The One Experience. And we want to just talk a little bit about travel in a different way um, and how it can show up through this experience. So the first thing I wanted to do is ask Serena to explain um, the who and the what of The One Experience. Who is it for and what is it all about? Absolutely. So Kimberly, I, I just love our partnership and the ways that we come together. So thanks for lifting this up. Uh, the one experience is for people who feel like they are the one and so multifaceted, whether it feels like sometimes I step in the room and I'm the only one. And that one might be, I'm the only person of this gender. I'm the only person from this culture. I'm the only person in my age range. I am the only one, right? And, mm -hmm. and we, I think many of us know what it's like to be asked, what do people think, you know, as a woman, what do women think about this? And you're like, I'm just here to represent me. <laughs> um, and but but the assumptions that come and responsibilities, but it may also be I'm the one. Uh, I would say for you, I'm going to describe you. You're the one who keeps your household together. You're the one where that knows where everything is. You're the one that they come to. Where's this? Where's that? How do we do this? How do we do that? How do we get this done? Oh, I'm having a, a little bit of health issues. Can you tell me about that? And so it's almost like the resident expert of the one. Uh, we may be the one that becomes the, um, the person strings. So the one that people go to, like, I need this. I don't have the money. I need the resources. I need um, this particular thing. And I think many of us enjoy the position when we're in alignment with purpose. Mm -hmm. But when we get out of alignment and thrown with things, be it life is happening, um, you know, we've had some losses. Mm -hmm. So whether it's grief, sickness, illness, um, perhaps something unexpected, uh, accidents, things that we kind of just don't even see coming and they sideswipe us. And now we just feel like I was juggling these balls just fine. And mm -hmm. if you had thrown me one more, I probably could have figured it out. But now that you threw three at me, my world comes tumbling now. Mm -hmm. And nice. the resources to be able to recalibrate, get back up, do what we're supposed to do. So still help, mm -hmm. but in intentional ways about that. Mm -hmm. And so in the one experience, we look at that in a very holistic way. We look at it from a spiritual perspective of alignment, physical, our bodies being in alignment, emotional, mm -hmm. mental, professionally, like what does our work, how do we work and how does that come up for us? And then relationally and socially. So it's for people who just need that recentering. And I think we kind of all do. Absolutely. Um, all the time. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, we go see a doctor once a year to make sure we're okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But are we doing the introspection of ourselves at least once a year to right. make sure we're okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I love the fact that, like I said, we do show up in different ways as the one, the only, the this, the that. And some people show up the one a lot more than others, just based on their environment. And um, But just to have an opportunity to travel, this is what you say, it's Travel Tuesday, to travel, to get away, even if you are in um, close to the area where it's going to be, and that's going to be next week, you'll get a chance to know where that is. But if even if you're close, you're still traveling outside of your home, right? And so that space of um, just being able to be yourself and one is so important. And I'm so excited because I will be there um, because I do show up as the one a lot in different ways. And I cannot wait to be a part of this experience. So thank you, Serena, for today and explaining the who and the what. And uh, next week we're gonna be, uh, where is it gonna be? So I can't wait.
All right. Until next week, blessings to you all. Thank you for everything. And we will see you next Tuesday.